pencil with pineapple papers and I am back with another 12 by 12 process video using the Maggie Holmes carousel collection and I did go ahead and do a little fussy cutting of this beautiful balloon paper um, it has a really nice black and white on the back but I always look at these particular papers and I'm like how do you use those um, so I fussy cut them and I am going to show you hopefully a very cute way of doing that. I do have this picture of my daughter at um, a balloon festival. So I'm not sure which background I'm going to use. I'm going to play with that. And then I'm going to use the paper pad for layering and some of the ephemera. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the biggest dilemma of all. Which paper to choose? Amazing papers from Carousel. I like this blue one because it pulls in the blue in the real uh, balloon that's in the picture. But I really was like, hmm, I wanted them to stand out a little bit more. So maybe I want them on white paper. And I do really like them on this paper. And now that I look at it, like part of me even likes it a little bit more. Like maybe I should have used that paper because I was like, I, I really had zero intention of using this side of the paper at all. But this is kind of where I decide, no, I think I kind of need to go back to the blue. I'm looking through the, I think it's six by eight paper pad from the carousel collection and kind of deciding what I'm going to use for my layering. And I set that picture kind of over there on the blue. I'm like, hmm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm just going to do my favorite thing in the world is get as many pieces of paper as I can on a layout. And most of that is due to the amount of layers that I put behind my picture. I love to use scraps. It doesn't matter. I love paper layers. So I was talking with my best friend Amber the other day and she's like, we were talking about how many pieces of paper I normally get on. She's like, I bet you've got 20 pieces of paper on a layout before. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Definitely 10 probably even close to 15 when I've used my scraps. But I don't know that I've done 20. I haven't gone back through my albums to kind of decide. So now that I have my paper layers down, I don't like all the layers of color that I have behind the picture with the black and white background. Now if I had added some mixed media in different colors I think that I would have been happier with it but I just felt like I'd put too much color on one side and there was like no color on the other so here I am going to kind of show you what my thought process is I do want to add tw Baker's twine in black and white to the bottom of each of these balloons so I cut, even though they're hot air balloons, I liked the idea of them looking like a handful of balloons, like the movie Up. So I attached a piece to the back of all of them and then adhered them down to the paper. And here I'm just going to kind of twist them up. And my daughter was so sweet to help me. She held it while I tied a little bow around the center to kind of hold them together. Now that is where my title is coming from, is from the movie up, because that's pretty much what it reminded me of. And I just love that. I love the, I love the look of that. Now I'm not a fussy cutter. I don't enjoy fussy cutting. I like it when it's done, but as far as doing it, like I can't even sit and watch TV show and do it. I, I'm just a terrible fussy cutter. So that being said, 
I look at these papers that have so many patterns and I'm like, they have to be fussy cut. So sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and you gotta fussy cut things. Like papers are meant to be fussy cut. Not every paper is meant to be a full background sheet. The Those designers, they're brilliant. They know that they're gonna sell you one 12 by 12 sheet of paper and you're going to use it in a million ways. You're going to cut it up for layering. You're going to fussy cut elements and make your own ephemera. Like they're just brilliant. Like there's so much that you can get from a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So now that I'm done with that tangent, um, I just have the, what I have left of what I've purchased from the carousel collection with the puffy stickers the ticker, sticker sheet and the die cut sheet. And um, I'm just going to use a few of those elements to, to just decorate slightly around my photo, add a little bit of interest, because I really don't want to take everything away from the balloons. Because really, as much as I'd love to say that my photo is the focal point of this layout it's not those beautiful balloons from that paper are definitely the focal point and there's not really a story to tell it was just we had this food truck event down at one of the schools here and they had hot air balloons but it was too windy so they didn't go up so they just kind of sat there so I got my daughter to take a picture with one of them but it's really dark so but I like that the blue from the balloon in the picture matches the blue for the background paper. So this one, this layout um, was for a challenge for the Secret Not So Secret Kit Club crop weekend for February. And it was, I think just a, inspiration photo. It had a lot of Disney stuff and I knew this is exactly what I wanted to do with that one. So I just added a few puffy hearts and that thicker word up and that's it guys. Super simple. Um, didn't take very long. And There's my daughter saying bye as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to wear your crown and I will definitely be seeing you soon. Bye!